Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and I wanted to add a little something to my observations. A lot of you have been asking me what I think of the um, K180 WLA but outside of its range of frequency. So the K180 WLA is uh, an antenna that is supposed to stop at 180 megahertz. This is its high end range according to the specifications. So these specifications actually um, are not fixed in rock, you know, uh, antennas sometimes resonate at a wider range of frequencies than what the antenna is supposed to actually do. When you look at the specifications, you notice that it still has gain higher in frequency, but as you get higher and higher, the gain is less and less important. So um, I tried, actually I used it a lot in the UHF range around 400 megahertz and even used it higher like a 900 megahertz range. What I can say is that it does receive at those frequencies and actually uh, one interesting aspect is that a few things that I listened to like in the 70 centimeter band frequencies of amateur radio and some of the uh, um, kind of business band around 450 megahertz. A lot of the signals seem to be as good, I would say, as my mobile vertical. So that's my reference, basically. That said, um, you know what? I tried a lot of satellites. So you guys have seen that I, of course, received satellites with this antenna in the VHF range and the 2 meter band or some in the 137 megahertz range, uh, like the NOAA weather or the ERBCON. But I've not been at all able to receive any satellites in the 70 centimeter ham band, 430 uh, megahertz, which tends to make me think that it isn't sensitive enough at that range to actually receive anything. What I have uh, done and will be, of course, working on, and I'll post a few videos, my mobile vertical being, of course, um, still up and running, I'll be comparing the two, trying to get the same signals, but with two radios, two different receivers. What I'll do is I'll probably use my uh, ICOM ICRD500 so I can have both signals at the same time and see if one receives... Um, and the other doesn't and maybe even like switch the antennas to see if uh, it makes a difference so um, I'll, I'll have a more complete and more um, a, a better view a better idea of its performance but from now even though it does receive at the 400 megahertz range uh, it might not be as sensitive uh, and the weak signals are probably not there but more to come on this, I'll have more observations as I'm going to continue testing this antenna on the outside of its range in the UHF range. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.